So as a data engineer, our role should always be to clean data, to test our data, but also to be a great storyteller. Yes, I absolutely love that response, Divya. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I see a role in data as being like building a house. I feel data engineers are effectively the foundation of that house. The career path that an engineer takes and the opportunities that are open for them are endless. So guys, we need to finish a sentence. Data engineers work in a variety of settings to build systems that collect, manage and convert raw data into a story. So at the end of the day, we need to make the right decisions in the right way and it needs to tell the story to whoever that's receiving the end result. I think that's a brilliant way of answering the question. Data engineers are storytellers. It's a perfect example. Yeah, they have the ability to influence business decisions by what story they tell to people. They are here to convert raw data into gold. And at the end, they want to use it because they know that behind the data, they have some value. I really think that our answer is better than this one. <laughs> what are the three most important skills a data engineer must have? An inquisitive mind, computer language. So that depends on what skills or what software they use. Then they have the ability to be able to code the relevant information in. I'm struggling on the third one though. Can you help me out here? Communication skills. I think these are some things that is also quite key skills for a data engineer. I think that uh, I really love the inquisitive skill from Richard because uh, I think that it's it's really about that, about how curious you are. The three most important skills are coding, data warehousing, knowledge of operating systems. Okay, I, I, I can agree that uh, the technical side of the role is required, but I think we were, in our answers, looking at it from a personal perspective. In the 2012 Harvard Business Review, data scientist was officially the what job of the 21st century. The trendiest job of the 21st century. The futuristic job of the 21st century. Data science is just very new. It just came in, but we are taking it into the future. <laughs> Apparently, we were wrong. Uh, the answer was the sexiest job of the 21st century. <laughs> I was more uh, attracted by uh, your futuristic job, Divya. <laughs> Can you finish this quote? Data that is loved tends to what? Uh, tends to be like a diamond. <laughs> It's something that you want to um, to show to, to other people. It's something you want to, to keep because it's precious. Uh, but it's also something you want to communicate about because you, um, you think that there is some value behind it. His response was, survive. Do you agree with that, Isabel? Well, it's, yeah, it's a good answer. We want to be more competitive to a better footprint than uh, our competitors. Being a data engineer is a starting point. Once you're a data engineer, you open up many parts, part of which areas you can go into. You can be a data analyst even after being a data engineer. You can be a data scientist even after being a data engineer. The starting point of this long tunnel is basically starts off with a data engineer's role. I feel data makes the world go round. I'm very, very passionate about my role and my job because it involves data. And I think it helps people make better business decisions, not just for themselves, but for the greater good of the entire world. Become a data engineer. It's the foundation of your career in data. It can take you wherever you want, and it will have a positive impact on the world around you. <laughs>